Greetings again, everyone. Sir Morgan here from the Technical Department. Today, we'll be looking at some more angle construction. We will be looking at the 120, 75, 105, and the 135 degree angle construction. I will now go ahead and border my paper. I will now show you how we construct our 120 degree angle. We first will draw line AB 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters is equivalent to 5 centimeters. We will now outline 50 millimeters exactly. Label the line AB. We will now open our compass to a convenient radius, one convenient for you. The compass center will be A, and we will now scribe an arc from the AB line. We will now call this point C. We will now put our compass at C, but we must not remove, we must not move the radius of the compass. So we put our compass at C using the same radius and we will scribe an arc to cut this arc. We will now call this point D. We will now place our compass at D and D is where this arc intersected this arc, right? We will now scribe another arc to get E Okay, now that we have gotten E, we will now draw a line from A through the intersection of the arcs. Now we need to establish a point from A along this line, F. So AF will be 50 millimeters. So I will now go ahead and outline 50 millimeters. So AF is 50 millimeters. Now angle FAB 
is 120 degrees. This angle right here is 120. Now, if we wanted to get the, the 60 degree angle, what we would have done is to put our comb is to draw a line from A through D. But because we want to get the 120, we would put our compass from D and scribe another arc. And this arc intersection right here, these intersections, this intersection of these two arcs will give us the, the, the spot to draw our 120 degree angle. We will now construct a 75 degree angle. Line AB will be 50. I will now outline my 50 millimeters for AB. Now open your compass to a small convenient radius, one that is convenient for you. Place the compass, the center of the compass will be here, and scribe an arc from the AB line. Now place your compass at C. C is where the, 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 the arc intersected the AB line. Now you should not move the radius of the compass and you will now scribe another arc to intersect the first arc. Now where the arc intersected the first arc, we will call this point, point D. Now, if we, if we drew an angle, if we drew a line from A to D, then this angle would have been 60 degrees. Now, to get 75 degrees, all we need is to add 15 more degrees to this angle. So, 60 plus 15 equal to 75. So, what I'm going to do, I'll be drawing a line through D to show you the 60 degree angle. So A to D is 50, and from here to here, this angle right here, I'm not going to give this line a measurement, right? But I will call this point F, E, I will call this point E, right? So this is a 60 degree angle. E, A, B is now a 60 degree angle, but we need a 75 degree angle. Now, with our compass at the same at the same radius, right? We will ascribe another arc here. Now, from A through this intersection would have been a one hundred and twenty degree. I'm gonna call this this point 
F. Now angle F A C is 120. So what we notice is that F A E is 60 and also F A B 120. Now E A B angle, the angle E A B, this angle right here is 60. So we have 260 degree here. But what we really want is to add another 15 degrees to this angle. So we want this angle to be, you know, another 15 degrees. So what we would do is that we know that this angle is a 60 degree. If we bisect this angle, if we bisect this angle, we would get a 30 degree from here to where the angle was bisected. So we will now do this. To bisect an angle, you need to open your compass to a convenient radius, one convenient for you, right? We are now going to call this point G. So this point right here is G. Now we will bisect by placing, bisect this angle by placing our compass at G and D to scribe arcs. Now, if we draw a line from this intersection to A, What we now have is this angle right here measuring 90 degrees, right? We can clearly see that this angle right there would have been a 90 degree angle. Now what we have is that we now have a 30 degree angle here. From here to here would have been 30 degree. And also from here to here would have been another 30 degree. So 60 degree plus 30 degree, this would have given us the 90 degree. Now, we want to get another 15 degree right here. So what we would do is that we are going to bisect this 30 degree angle so that we can get 215. So to bisect an angle, let's label this, part, this point H. So this point right here, we will be labeling it H. So we will put our compass at H and D. And we will scribe arcs. Now always remember not to move the radius of the compass when you are bisecting an angle. Now where these two arcs intersect, we will draw a line from A through the intersection of these two arcs. Now, when we observe closely, we observe that this angle, F, this angle from F, and let's label this, this point I, and let's label this point G. Now what we observe is that FAI is a 30 degree angle. F 
A E is a 60 degree angle, right? Now we observe that we bisected I A E, we bisected this angle I A E, I A E, right? To get 230 degree, a 30 here and a 30 right here. Now the first 60 degree plus another 15 degree, 60 plus 15 would equal to 75 degrees. So we will now outline this angle GAB to get our 75 degrees. We will outline the required angle we need. Now, if you were given a measurement for GA, then you would measure accordingly. Right, so you can see my angle GAE being a 75 degree. 60 degree right there plus another 15 degree. We bisected this 30 degree angle to get another 15 degree. So angle GAE, angle GAB is 75 degree. We will now construct a 105 degree angle. I will now go ahead and draw my line AB. Now the process is very similar to these two processes. Now I'm going to outline AB to be 50 millimeters. 50 millimeters is equivalent to 5 centimeters. So my line AB is 50 millimeters. Now that we have our line AB, we will put our compass at A. And we will scribe an arc from the AB line. Now, if we wanted a 60 degree, so we can call this point C. And if we wanted a 60 degree angle, we would scribe an arc right here to intersect that first arc. And also, if we wanted to construct the, 90, the 120 degree angle, we would put our compass at this point and scribe another arc to cut this line. So we will call these two points C and D. Now, with our compass at the same at the same radius, we could easily use points D and C to get a 90 degree angle. Now, where the arcs intersect each other, we can call this point E. We will now draw a line from the intersection of these two arcs to point A.
So angle EAB is a 90 degree angle. Now angle from A through D, we will now draw a line. So we can call this point F. Angle FAB is 120 degrees. Angle EAB is 90 degrees. Now, what will you notice is that between the 90, the 90 is right here, and the 120 is right here. So from 90 to 120, we would have 90 plus 10 plus another 10 plus another 10. That would give us the, the, the 120. So this angle F A E, this angle F A E is 30 degree. Now if we can add 15 degree to F to E A B, right, moving this line from this position to the midway point here, then we would have gotten our 105 degree angle. Right? Now, what we will do is that we will bisect FAE, which is a 30-degree angle, to get two 15-degree angles. Now, we will call this point G. We will call this point G. We will put our compass at G and D and we will bisect this angle right here. This angle, we are going to bisect this angle. So at G and D, we will scribe arcs that will intersect each other. Now where the arcs intersect each other, we will now draw a line from A through the intersection of those arcs. Now, please be, sh be sure to identify the intersection properly, right? Ensure you identify your intersection of arcs properly. Now we can call this point I. So angle now angle F A I that's a fifteen. Angle F A E that's a thirty degree angle, and angle I A E is a fifteen degree angle. So now what we notice is that there is a trend. By learning the basic angles and also how to bisect the basic angles, we can get many different angles from this procedure. I will now outline my required 105 degree angle. Also note, there may be situations where you may need to put a measurement to your angle lines. So AI could have been 70, it could have been 40, it could have been 30, right? So please note, there may be situations where you would have to measure the length of your AI and outline accordingly. I will now construct my final angle for the day, the 135 degree angle. I will be drawing a line, construction line. Then I will, then I will outline my AB to be 50 millimeters.
We will do the similar procedure to open our compass to a convenient radius. Place our compass at A. And scribe an arc from the AB line. Okay, so now we have point C with the compass at the same radius. What we would do is that we will put it at C, get point D, put it at point D to get point E. Now, in order for us to get a 135 degree angle, what we notice is that if we add 90 degree plus 45 degree, then we would get 135, all right? So what I'm going to do is that I'm now going to use this, these two points to get a 90 degree angle, E and D. Now, where those two arcs intersected each other, I will call that point F. So I will draw a line from A through F. Always remember to identify your inter intersection of arcs properly so your angles can be accurate. So there we see angle F, A, B is a 90 degree. And if I should label this point over here, G, I can also see that angle F, A, G is a 90 degree. No, 90 degree plus another 45 degree would have given us 135 degrees. So what I would do is that I can now call this point right here, H, and I will bisect from this angle, F, A, E. So I will call this point I. So using these two points, I and H, I will bisect I will bisect the angle, this angle, which is a 90 degree angle. Now, if I draw a line from A through this, inter this intersection, then I would get my required 135 degrees. Why? 90 degrees plus 45 degrees equal to 135 degrees. So let's call this point J. So from A through J, now this point will be labeled as K. So angle K A B is equal to 135 degrees. Also note, I only outline my required angles. All other lines are construction lines. Again, 
I only outline my required angles. 135, 120, 75 degree, and also 105 degree. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.